Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Today we are going to discuss about the massive developments that are going on with internet computer behind the curtains that you may not see. As always, I'm going to focus on a ton of different data, charts, metrics and indicators. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okay guys, so let's focus on the massive developments that are going on in internet computer and in the whole ecosystem. Today we are going to focus on the ecosystem report that was published in March 2024 and we are going to check at a ton of different metrics that indicate that the ecosystem is growing at a very fast pace. So 2023 was one of the toughest years for the industry, yet the internet computer ecosystem experienced growth in many areas. Network usage measured in cycles burned grew from an average of 331 trillion cycles per day in January to 734 trillion cycles a day in December, a 121% increase. Usage growth was experienced broadly across most subnets, suggesting the growth in ecosystem wide. So you may see here the average cycles burned and the graphics shows that once again, we have experienced a ton of development in 2023. On top of that, we had Bitcoin innovation with chain key Bitcoin and in general with chain key technology. Why is that so important? Well, this innovation has resulted in increased usage of chain Bitcoin and ICP one-to-one -one digital twin of BTC. Supply of chain key Bitcoin grew 66% in December 2023 alone a growth rate that has continued into 2024. December also saw over a million Chainky Bitcoin transactions, totaling over 67 million in value. So it's not only Chainky Bitcoin that you will see now, and you may see the average volume per day, but it's also Chainky Ethereum. So the multi-chain narrative only is starting to develop and to grow for internet computer. So you may see that it's not only going to be Chinky Bitcoin or Chinky Ethereum, but we will have also integration with Solana, with Chinky Solana, and with stable coins uh, using Chinky USDT and Chinky USDC. So, um, 2023 also set a new high watermark for our industry in truly decentralized applications with the adoption of the SNS framework. This framework allows any ICP application to delegate its control to a DAO, forming a truly decentralized application in which all components can be placed within the control of a DAO, 14 apps leveraged of the SNS framework in 2023 and participants swapped a total of 6.5 million internet computer worth more than $80 million as part of the decentralized process. And you can see here the chart of the ICP that was swapped in SNN, SNS, I'm sorry. Okay. On top of that, uh, we are going to also check uh, in a second uh, the metrics related to the developer growth of internet computer. And this is also mentioned in uh, this ecosystem report. However, let's focus on other facts and figures uh, very uh, quickly before doing that. So you may see the number of teams that raised grants funding in 2023, three, uh, 239 teams in 41 different country for a total of $6.25 million. Uh, you can see here the developer uh, grant types, which we are not so focus, uh, focused on at the moment, but I want to also focus on the ICP hubs in numbers. 422 local crypto communities in 25 different countries and um, two, 22 partnerships 300 plus events worldwide and 20k people in global 
community, five incubation programs, and you may see how many countries are involved in the process, which simply means that internet computer is spreading worldwide, that more and more people are interested, uh, interested in the activity of Definity and want to start adopting this project, which in my opinion is absolutely amazing and great long term for this project. Let's now focus on developer activity. So what are the fastest growing ecosystems by single chain developers in uh, the fourth quarter of 2023 as a comparison to the fourth quarter of 2022? And you will see that Internet Computer is in fifth place, 64% increase in developer activity, which is absolutely great. And if we compare Pair internet computer to these other projects uh, or ecosystems that are in the top four, they have a lot less developers than internet computer. Therefore, the growth can be more substantial. But internet computer has a ton of developers already. So the only um, ecosystem that did have a substantial growth is Avalanche that can be compared to internet computer plus 35%, which is great. So we are going to compare just in a second internet computer to other blockchains or other ecosystems to see the difference in developer growth. So as you may see here, Solana minus 55% in the same period compared to internet computer plus 64%. Okay, we can compare internet computer with um, ecosystems that have at least 500 developers. So you may see that all these ecosystems that had um, an increase that is more substantial than internet computer had less than 500 developers. So uh, as you may see, only AVEX, 35%. On uh, average, ecosystems lost 27% of their single chain developers. Uh, that's also what was mentioned in the ecosystem report that 2023 was a very rough year for crypto in general in terms of developer activity as many developers left the cryptoverse and obviously why did they left because after 2022 that was a very rough year in terms of price um, for the whole crypto market, we had a bear market, a very substantial bear market and long bear market that in a way also um, did include 2023, even if we have seen more recovery. But it wasn't so clear in the first uh, couple of quarters of 2023 that we will have a new bull market soon in crypto. Therefore, many of those developers just completely left. And we had a ton of new, I would say, part-time developers because just these developers couldn't afford to develop full-time into the cryptoverse. Now with more capital in the market, I believe that we will see a ton of new developers flocking in the crypto space. But I'm very happy to see that in this very rough year, Internet Computer managed to increase them dramatically the number of developers, which just shows that uh, Internet computer is not a meme coin, that internet computer is not a rug pull, that internet computer has no, uh, people say, has no development, no utility, no adoption. There is a ton work behind the scenes, behind the curtains that you do not see. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm um, investing so much time to be able to provide you very precise researches that take in consideration all the factors, not only price. And I would just want to remind you that in order to better understand the risk to reward ratio of a project, we do not need only to take in consideration the price or the technical analysis, but also many other factors as fundamental analysis, social risk, macro. And this is what we are doing here fundamental analysis, taking a look at all these relevant metrics. Okay, so let's now move on to other developments. As you may see also internet computer, this is something that I displayed multiple times. 
is first in terms of uh, developer activity or rather uh, GitHub activity in the past 30 days. All great, all good. Um, let's now focus also on what DeFi Llama says. And you may see here the, um, the growth uh, in 2023 and 2024 in terms of developer activity and number of comets, core developers, all good, still very high, is not dropping and I'm happy to see uh, growth from internet computer. Let's take a look at other interesting metrics. This is also something that I mentioned in previous videos. The number of Canister smart contracts did absolutely skyrocket in the past month. We have added 100,000 new Canister smart contracts. Why is that so important? Because a growth of Canister smart contracts indicates the growth in developer activity on the blockchain. It means that we have potentially more burns in the future, the deflationary mechanics of internet computer are enhanced and overall um, compute power for internet computer is very high compared to other, as Dominic Williams states, ghost blockchains. Okay, uh, let's now take a look at other interesting um, metrics, the number of blocks, and you will see here that Dominic Williams stated uh, very recently, earlier this weekend, the internet computer ICP passed 3 billion blocks. It's probably now processed substantially more blocks than all the other blockchains combined. It's a beast. Obviously, uh, these are metrics that are usually very overlooked. People uh, mostly focus on the price in the very short term, not taking a look at all these relevant metrics and improvements that Internet Computer is day by day by day cumulatively um, having. Obviously, uh, that uh, price is important. However, as I always mention, prices is an indication of sentiment of news in the market of the level of hype in a project and does not take fully in consideration utility development adoption and many other parameters as most of the retail investors just do not take a look at those they just simply take a look at the news and that's why there is a difference even if as you have seen minus 55 in percent, uh, percent in developer activity for Solana and plus 64 percent but still Solana did much better than internet computer in terms of price appreciation because the social risk for Solana is very high Google Trends at an all-time high Google searches at an all-time high compared to the last cycle one of the only projects that managed to create a higher high in terms of Google searches. Why is that so? Because in one day I did compare, we have 70, 80 news, 80 articles related to Solana, while for internet computer, maybe we have one article a day or maybe just a few articles in a week. That's a huge difference. And this is an indication of sentiment. Obviously, even though you have um, big news on TV um, and this news is constantly repeated, you will focus on that. But if you have a news and you hear it maybe once in, in, in a while, you will not focus so much on that. So it's all a matter of where attention goes and where focus goes. So that's how uh, the price also fluctuates. And the social risk is also an indication of that. And this is why it's a parameter that I'm taking a look at. Also, other metrics that are extremely overlooked, cost per acquisition, um, the cost basically to onboard new users to the platform, uh, as Dominic Williams states, based on some of his calculation, uh, this cost might be 200 times lower for internet computer compared to some of the competitors. Competitors, I call them competitors, even though I believe that there are no competitors for internet computer at the moment because internet computer is the only third generation blockchain. Competitors only in 
uh, the minds of most of retail investors that are still comparing internet computer to Solana, AVAX, Cardano, and so on and so forth. But in reality, internet computer is just a completely separate project that cannot even be compared to those projects because it's in, in a different lane of a revolutionary technology of a blockchain um, innovation. Okay, uh, let's also uh, take a look at two uh, hottest narratives for internet computer and I believe that um, they will focus most of their time, most of their developers and uh, most of their efforts towards these two specific narratives. Uh, and the first one is AI models, a very, very hot narrative in this cycle. Uh, AI, it's uh, obviously something that we are all looking in the future as an innovation and that can help humanity to better perform certain tasks. However, it comes also with risks like cybersecurity threats. And this is why Internet Computer, it's in my opinion, the best place, the best blockchain to integrate AI models because it can grant security, it's hacker proof, it's battle tested. And that's why I believe that Internet Computer will succeed in integrating AI models in the future. And these AI models would not only cut cost of research and development teams, but will also be very secure and therefore uh, implemented and used and adopted by a ton of different enterprises, governments, and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, second uh, narrative uh, for Internet Computer is obviously Utopia. And I mentioned um, many times why I believe Utopia will be absolutely massive. It's the first and biggest narrative for Internet Computer in at the moment, in my opinion. So let's see uh, what are the pros of Utopia. So unbreakable security. And this is once again in line what I mentioned that these enterprises, these governments want to focus on security. In the past cycles, we have seen so many scams, rug pulls in crypto, breach hacks, outages, and so on and so forth. Security from this cycle on should be top priority in the crypto market. If the crypto market wants to compete with traditional financial markets. For now, the crypto market was just a market of freaks. However, now the crypto market is growing so fast that it needs to adapt if it wants to compete with the big players. Okay, full data sovereignty. Very important. Why once again, as I mentioned multiple times, all these enterprises will have full control over their nodes and therefore for them, Utopia is extremely beneficial. They will have control. Seamless integration, not only um, these Utopias will be able to communicate with each other, but there is some also potential for integration with traditional IT systems. Enhanced developer experience, obviously it's a big plus um, because obviously Utopia is a revolutionary technology and revolutionary economic model. Through smart contracts and licensing agreements, Utopia networks can potentially generate revenue for the, de uh, for the original developers of open source services, creating a, sustain a sustainable and equitable system for software development. Obviously, very important that uh, these developers have incentives as well. The game changing impact of Utopia, the ramification of Utopia on ICP are far reaching mass adoption. Obviously, potential for mass adoption is here because Internet computer is fast, decentralized, cheap cost of storage, cheap cost of transactions, and obviously um, all this um, enterprises will have full control. Therefore, everything is already lined up for them to adopt it. In my opinion, it's just a matter of time and just a matter of effort um, to reach to all these uh, institutions to communicate and to explain them the benefits in a way that they can easily understand it. 
Obviously, deflationary potential, I mentioned that as well. In my opinion, this is also extremely overlooked, but potentially a huge catalyst for internet computer because um, obviously all the fees that will be generated through Utopia will be burned. All this uh, part potential market participants need to buy uh, ICP tokens and therefore uh, they will be burned after that and innovation unleashed. So once again, the future is bright in my opinion. Obviously, you can ask what are they doing in terms of developing uh, Utopia, what they're doing in terms of adopting Utopia. And many people ask me, hey, is there a release uh, date set for Utopia? At the moment, there is not a release date. Um, Dominic Williams stated multiple times, not only on Twitter, but also in various interviews, that he's already communicating with uh, different governments. Uh, as you may see, he's uh, tripping around the world to communicate with different enterprises, governments, regarding uh, the adoption of Utopia. And what I would want to see and I what expect this year from the Definity team is that they release a list of enterprises or potentially governments that will start using Utopia already this year. And this, I believe, uh, could potentially create, obviously, uh, some huge implications not only to the for the price but also in terms of adoption of other institutions obviously is the hardest to onboard the first participants once you already have something that is ongoing that is running smoothly and that is adopted by major players other players will flock into that so um i believe we still need to uh, give them time to uh, develop their uh, project and to keep on working to onboard institutions um, on for Utopia as well. Okay, guys, as you may see, um, the future, in my opinion, is bright. We are still early, in my opinion. We are still in an infancy phase of uh, blockchain um, technology, blockchain innovation. Blockchain is not used still worldwide uh, for day-to-day -day activities. And I believe that a blockchain like Internet Computer will be extremely beneficial to uh, multiple activities because everything is built developed and deployed on chain through smart contracts so potentially ai models 100 percent deployed on chain uh, then we can have potentially games nfts metaverses 100 percent deployed playable on chain which will bring a ton of different people that want to play games have incentives and play to earn obviously and much more then we can have social medias directly on the chain, decentral, fully decentralized, and the information that are stored will be secure. We can have other potential implications like movies, music, everything on chain. The implications are infinite, really. Um, so if you think about all of that, if you think that they are still increasing their developer account, that they are still working, um, I believe internet computer is a no-brainer from a risk to reward standpoint as a long-term investment, just in my personal opinion. Once again, I will remind you, I'm not a paid content creator. I'm not shilling internet computer. I was never contacted by the Definity Foundation, never paid a, a, a penny from anyone to talk about any of the projects that I'm talking about on this uh, channel. No affiliate links down there, no sponsorships, no, not zero, guys, zero. I'm just a random guy that is a professional investor and that is a risk management special, uh, specialist that is talking about risk to rewards of different projects. It's not only internet computer. I'm talking about a lot of different projects just from my opinion, my personal standpoint at the moment. I can see that the risk to reward for internet computer is in just again in my personal opinion fantastic as it's extremely overlooked there was so much a fad which created obviously an opportunity for many 
for others unfortunately it meant that they lost a ton of money due to the FTX manipulation at launch however I see it as an opportunity and I want to give it a chance because I can see a ton of potential implications for the future and I can see a future for this project if you guys like the content please give me a big fat thumbs up as always none of this is financial advice just an opinion of a random guy on YouTube subscribe to the channel if you like it and I will see you in the next one and before leaving don't forget it's still the week of zero to hero watch the videos regarding risk management very interesting and extremely useful stuff to understand how to navigate these markets okay guys I will see you in the next one bye bye